Bruce Furness getting off to a fine start in lane five, and Mark Spitz was right on it. Furness has gone out on top. He was prepared. He had psyched himself for the first leg of this relay event. So it is the team from the United States as they make that first turn, which will be in first place. West Germany makes the turn right there with him in second place. In third place is Italy right now. But it is Furness bringing it in. He is in first. Dueling against Klaus Steinbach of West Germany, who is right next to him on Bruce's lap. Furness has really moved out on this thing, but it looks like Steinbach is catching him there. I think Furness might have gone out a little bit too hard, Brent. All right, he'll turn it over to Jimmy Montgomery, but the West Germans are right there with him. And swimming that second leg is Dirk Blundletter. He is right there. Jim Montgomery got off to a fine start. What about that start, Mark, when you take over in a relay so you don't over-anticipate and jump that gun? Well, Montgomery has to anticipate Furness's finish so that he leaves just after he touches the blocks. But Montgomery, being the world record holder, has moved out in front, taking a commanding lead there. Good turn. Jim Montgomery with a fine second leg has the United States in first place. West Germany right now is in second place. In lane seven, East Germany is in third place. In lane two, the team from the Soviet Union is in fourth place. In lane three, the Italian club is in fifth place right now. And moving up strong would be the national team from France in lane six. They have moved all the way up to third place. Swimming the third leg for the U.S., here is Andy Cohn. It's really beneficial for the United States to get out in front, Brent. They have clean water. The other boys have to swim in his wake and his kick. And as you can see, he's really moving down there on the screen. Good stroke. Straight arms forward, keeping his head down. You mentioned that team for the Soviet Union, Mark, and they have moved up on West Germany. When they make this turn, they could be in second place. They are dueling the West Germans right now. Lanes two and four in a great battle with the United States opening up a tremendous lead. Jim Montgomery turned in a great second leg. Now it is Andy Cohn. And that West German team has moved back with the Soviet Union just off their pace. They are in third place. Battling for fourth right now would be the teams from Italy, France, and East Germany. Completely off the pace are the national teams from Spain and Bulgaria. The United States is a little underneath the world record, and I think this is going to be a fantastic swim. But getting back to the second place team, the Russians, who are in lane number two, have Valdemir Bure, who is their fastest man, and he is making a move now to pull their team out in second place, Brent. All right, and it is John Murphy who must assault that record mark. He makes the final turn for the United States. Murray has that Soviet Union right up there. And also the West German anchorman is Peter Naki. Naki, a good sprinter. So the United States goes after the record. The race for second place has West Germany back in command right now. And as Mark has pointed out, Murray, a tremendous freestylist. The Italian team moving up strong. Here comes the United States. Mark, you watch the clock for the record. I'll watch the race. The U.S. has number one. And it is going to be West Germany is going to get number two. A tremendous battle for lanes. Third place right now goes to Italy. And Russia settles for fourth. What about that time? It's a brand new world record, Brent. And they were really moving. I can't believe this team. They're going to be tough in Montreal. A sensational performance. Furness, Montgomery, Cohn, and Murphy. And I think it was Montgomery who turned the trick. Furness slowed down just a little bit in his second 50 meters. There the anchor leg was turned in.